Why, hello there, and welcome to the Medfield State Hospital Institution. It's an abandoned asylum here, which is pretty crazy. Now, we're doing some filming locations. Shutter Island. Shutter Island, fun, fun movie. It uh, has Leo DiCaprio, Mark Ruffalo, among many others. Uh, fun, fun time, but it was filmed here. It, it's not an island. We're here in Medfield, Massachusetts, and the grounds are completely open for this whole place. You, can, you can't go inside the buildings, but you can explore. You can check everything out, which is awesome. An abandoned asylum that you're allowed to visit. Rare, very rare, but we're going to walk around see if we can match up some shots and check out some stuff. Let's go. Entry to buildings prohibited. It's a major rule, but you know what? I will accept the rule since we're allowed to be here. That's definitely, I'll, I'll take it, I'll take it. Hazardous conditions exist. Entry into building is prohibited. Vi violators are subject to arrest. This is building number one. So all the buildings are marked. This is right when you come in, right here. I did walk through this grass and it's a little bit overcast and some precipitation in the area. My shoesies are wet, my feetsies are wet. I should have taken, I didn't realize there was a pathway right over here. It is quite interesting how you are allowed to walk around the entire property. Some good stuff. Designated here the Medfield State Hospital National Historic Site. This is fantastic. This campus opened in 1892 and it served until 2003 when it was closed. It said at its peak there were 58 buildings, many of them cottage style, but 58 buildings on this campus, that's a lot of buildings. There's not that many now, but the ones that are left are absolutely fantastic. Look at that thing. This is designated as building number two. Right next to building number one. Maybe they just go in order. There's quite a few people visiting as well. So a lot of people walking around this little parking area right over here. So amazing that this is just simply a no parking sign and not a no trespassing sign. Visitors welcome. Just that just like that bicyclist right there. A little bit about the movie, the director Martin Sorcisi uh directed this movie. It was, it's fabulous. It's a great movie if you have not watched it. So basically it takes place in 1954 and we have a U.S. Marshal Teddy Daniels and he's uh, he has to go to this psychiatric facility located on an island, Shutter Island, which obviously not an island. We are mainland Massachusetts. But anyway, great setting. I, I see why they picked it. It is phenomenal around here. So good. But Yes, so he has to solve a disappearance on the island, and then all kinds of things start going away. And did I mention Teddy? It's Leo. It's Leo. But yeah, so if you haven't seen the movie, check it out. It's very good. If you have seen the movie, you're going to recognize some of this right here. Which brings us to our first spot right here. This is actually... The driveway 
that they drive Teddy and Chuck up where I was walking. I didn't even realize it where I was walking. Just talking to you now. So I believe for the movie, I could be wrong, but I believe it was all uh, purpose built sets for the movie. The walls with the barbed wire on top. But this was the double entrance gate right here. There's, there's not much left right in this spot. But right here, reverse side is where the gate would have been sitting. When they pull up and they come through to the second gate. So it's the double security gate right there. That's where the second gate would have been. This is definitely the spot. So this is the driveway. This is the entrance to Shutter Island into the facility through the barbed wire brick fence. Is right here. Drive Mark Ruflo and Leo DiCaprio up to the gate here where John Carroll Lynch is waiting and we meet Deputy Warden McPherson. They open the gates and in we go. And this is where we get our explanation, the map, the way around Shutter Island. Warden Deputy McPherson explaining. We get some quick shots to the right, to the left. I didn't quite go far enough left. And then to the right a little bit more. This was very heavily CG'd right here. We put uh, uh, that large building right in the center there. Remember us, for we too have lived, loved, and laughed. I'm gonna take a little break from Shutter Island. Let's explore the property a bit. Again, abandoned, but completely open. Just can't go inside. Eerily beautiful. A fresh cup of tea, waiting, waiting for too long. Alas, it's gone cold. Property of the town of Medfield. Pass at your own risk. Unsafe conditions. That's where the no trespassing comes from. Inside the buildings. You cannot go inside. Which would be really cool if this is slightly creepy. Ah! Ooh, I jumped a little bit. I thought there was a monster in there. He was going to come and get me through that little hole. Yeah. Look at this. We have some lights on the light pole. It's like Christmas lights. There's Christmas lights over there. They do a Christmas event here at Building 18. Oh, 
I keep mentioning the vast size of the property, but it is pretty impressive. Woo! Angel wings. Do you like my little baby wings? This corner of the building here is falling apart. Got a little stack of bricks. My goodness. Ooh, comes with an own, its own swimming pool. Should I dive in? Not gonna lie, I thought that was a deeper hole. Darn, joke failure. Can almost see in that one, but not quite. These buildings are BEA beautiful. Also, we have a basketball court over here. It would be very fascinating to learn some of the history here. I believe they do tours. I believe you can get tours. But like this building, like I'm not sure what this building is, but this little courtyard here, this little yarded area was completely fenced in, um, obviously to keep somebody in here. Like what, what was this area used for? Like, it's crazy. Most of the fence gone now, but some big gates, big gates. Dragonfly. I saved a dragonfly from drowning today from a bucket of garden water. It had skimmed its edge, catching delicate wings out of its element, the air. I couldn't give CPR or pound its heart to flutter. I placed my cane tip underneath and lifted it just over to the fronds of the fern. It struggled, pulled together, water fell off. It seemed okay. I saved a dragonfly today in my garden by Kathleen Pushell. I said oft. We didn't oft him. That's pretty crazy. The further and further you go, these buildings just keep going. This is building 28. Really amazing. Here we have a little QR code in the grass over here. See what's here. Day to night at Nurse's Living Space. Scan the QR code to view the artwork. Very 
interesting. Ooh, a Shutter Island squirrel. Come back here, squirrel. Squirrel, where did you go? Where art thou? Squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. Oh, oh, it's all stale. No, come back, come back, squirrel. You left me. We have a little garden area here. And this is interesting. The Future Performing Arts Center. Here we have a little history about the Medfield State Hospital. The State Hospital campus was the first such facility to be designed in the cottage style to deliver fresh air, light, social interaction, and meaningful daily activities to people on the outskirts of society. A truly innovative idea for 1896, it was fully self-sufficient with hundreds of acres of farmland, root cellars, corn silos, and more than 1,000 cattle and 3,000 chickens. Patients worked on the farm, supplying the food for all the state hospitals in eastern Massachusetts. During World War II, the campus housed nearly 2,300 people, more than the population of Medfield at the time, in the 1960s under the leadership of Dr. Harold Lee, gained a national reputation for his innovative rehabil rehabilitation program for patients. Increasingly independent living situations on campus were combined with intensive vocational work training for patients to increase skills and potentially return to society. The entire community used the chapel for religious services, dances, movies, and as a gymnasium. Right there. It's a fantastic clock up top there as well. Beautiful. And a little library here. Has some books in there that we can take home and read. And then return. And that brings us right back around to that courtyard. Right down there, center of the screen, the tree stump, the driveway where the gates were. Now this is the final scene of the film right here. Teddy and Chuck, I'm not gonna give away any spoilers because you need to just watch it, but Teddy and Chuck are sitting on the stairs right here. And this is very interesting. So I'm assuming it was a facade that was built for the movie, and this is why. So this gravel patch here, you can see the discoloration of the bricks. That's where the entrance was, the main entrance on the movie. You can also see here and here, the stains on the bricks where the edges of that structure were. Now, the reason why I say I think it was a facade that they built for the movie, I mean, it was definitely fake because the entrance there, there's no hole there. There's windows, and that was a door. So they had those windows covered up with a door, and they had a big stairway that you could walk up. Ooh, I almost tripped. I almost fell down that miniature little hill. Had a little stairway. That's where they were sitting at the end. And the door behind them, the two edges you can see, it's it was just a facade. So I'm assuming it was left there for quite some time before it was taken down for it to have those stains on those bricks. But that is, that's interesting right there. But this is it, the end of the film. And relatively the beginning. All in this tiny little square. And that's going to do it for this filming location adventure. Another fun fact, 
Uh, X-Men New Mutants was actually filmed here as well. I never saw that one. So I don't have any matchups. I didn't check anything out. I didn't look at that. I didn't watch the movie. I might regret it if I go to watch the movie and go, hey, I was there. But that's it. Shutter Island, Medfield State Hospital. I forgot the name for a second. <laughs> Medfield, right? If you enjoyed the video, like it, subscribe to the channel. We do lots of filming locations, travel videos, and random things from time to time. And until next time, be good, have fun, and learn something.